Um, hi guys, uh, welcome to another installment of OPDV Tutor. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to um, basically again use a uh, SQL developer uh, and also specifically I'm going to I'm going to show you how to uh, set up your environment for a um, for a database migration. Uh, let's say you wanted to migrate an OPDV database to a SQL Server database or back in or, or, or basically you know going in the opposite direction. Uh, then basically this is the schema that you would create to hold uh, the different objects uh, that are going to be captured um, you know, during the migration process. So basically the first thing that you have to do is again, I have my, I have these different accounts that I've already, um, um, connections that I've already uh, set up. So I'm going to log in as a sys user. Um, I'm actually already logging as the sys user. Uh, what I have to do now is I'm going to open my, my, um, my uh, worksheet. And again, so how you open up your worksheet is you just, um, if you happen to close it, just right click and then go to the bottom and find open SQL worksheet. So I'm gonna, uh, the schema that I'm gonna create, I'm gonna sign, I'm gonna sign uh, f about three privileges, three to four privileges. Uh, so the query to assign um, that's uh, the, uh, the different uh, privileges to that, to that schema are uh, three, grant, connect, Create session uh, resource. Create view two, and I'm gonna call this uh, you this uh, schema migration schema. Again, you can either call it a schema or you can call it a uh, a repository. So it might so it's gonna be migration schema, and then identified by schema. And I'm going to execute it. So again, uh, to execute the statement, you have two choices. You can either run the script or run the statement, or you can just run the script. So again, you can choose either or. I'm going to try this one. And basically, the grant will succeed. So what I have to do now is I've already uh, I've already get, I've already assigned the privileges to the to the user to the schema. So the thing is that you that uh, that schema is not I, I don't have a connection to that schema yet. So what I have to do next is. I have to uh, come to the plus button, click it, and then again. So make sure that I have the schema name. So connection. Let's say I'm gonna call this connection xc underscore uh, migration underscore schema, and then the username is gonna be migration underscore schema, and the password again is gonna be schema. Schema. Let me just make sure. Okay. And let me test it. Success. And so what I do is, uh, I would actually save it and then connect. So basically, and so now I'm logging as a migration as uh, as the uh, into the, I'm logging to the migration uh, schema. So basically, in terms of creating the actual repository, repository to store the objects, you can do it in two ways. Um, you can either do it by uh, basically just right clicking. On the on the on the connection uh, that you that you set up that you created, and then going to migration repository and then associate migration repository. Uh, that's the way that you can create. Uh, that's the first method that you can you can you can uh, go about creating the repository. That's again that's again it's going it's going to store the object. So you have to, you have to. Uh, this is something you have to do again. And also it's it's also not uh, not uh, recommended to uh, use. Let's say you have a sys user, you have an HR user, and basically you wanna, uh, you wanna be able to just use, you know, use those accounts uh, to perform migration. Again, uh, it's not recommended to do that because you have to have a. Um, so basically, you would use this, this schema is gonna be a temporary schema. It's gonna store the objects, and then basically when you're done with the migration, you can then you can then delete it. So it's it's you only create this schema for migration purposes, and then after that you get rid of it. So as I was saying, so you can either right click and go to migration and, and associate migration to that schema. Um, or you can also go to tools, go to migration, go to repository management and you can go and you can click on a uh, create repository. And then basically this is gonna be this, this is gonna be the repository that uh, that I'll be creating. Um, so create it. It's so basically what this repository repository is basically it's gonna create the app, the uh, tables, the views, the indexes. The same name. So every object you can think of, that's in that's in Oracle. 
it's going to create a uh, repository for those so again it's going to be capturing those specific objects uh, to, uh, during the migration so This takes about, this only takes a couple of minutes, so you just have to be extremely patient. Okay, there you go. So once the, the repository has been, been created, uh, it's going to be stored, it's going to be actually, it's going to be displayed here at the bottom. And so basically, it's going to be referred to as the projects. So basically, you'll be able to access uh, the different projects. Um, basically, you'll be able to review, um, you know, anything that's, that has been reported. And again, these projects are just, um, you know, again, for review purposes. Um, so, uh, so basically, this is just the first step in setting up your your, uh, your SQL developer um, application for a uh, database migration. Uh, thank you so much for watching.